Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Wild Arms 2. We're uh we're hunting for the village of the Baskars. Which I think is just over here somewhere. <laughs> there there we go! Super hidden village. About as hidden as literally everything else in this game. <laughs> Look! Tim, you're home! Oh, I love this because we're going to get Puka. Oh, Puka's such a good... Puka's fun, period, as a character, but also a really good item. A very good, like, throwback to handpan, you know? Very good throwback to handpan. I like how Irving just shows the fuck up. Where you were born 12 years ago. Tim's only 12. Found out recently that Brad thinks that Wild Arms 2 had the worst OST out of the franchise. <sighs> Oof. Um, I don't agree, but here's the thing. It so depending on how he's phrasing that, I I'm I wouldn't fight him over it. I think Wild Arms 2 has an amazing OST, and I think some of its best are ridiculously good. But I also think Wild Arms 1 had an amazing OST, and I think Wild Arms 3 had an amazing OST. I haven't played 4 enough to really know better. So, like, if his opinion is just like Wild Arms 2 is the worst out of them, okay. But if it's like Wild Arms 2 is a bad OST, then I'd, I'd have to fight a man. Because <laughs> there's, there's a big difference there. Uh, and, you know, it's it's that scenario of, like, Wild Arms 2 was my first Wild Arms, you know? So, like, of course I'm going to love it. I'm going to baby it, right? So, he gave it a 5 or a 6. Okay, he's dumb. That's, that's dumb. Wild Arms 2, if you're going to bitch about anything, it's not the music, right? The music is great in the game. If you, you bitch about all the other stuff in the game, not the music. It's, pfft, like, fuck off. <laughs> Feel free to wander around the village, Tim. A five or a six? I'm offended. I am offended. Tim is a child of this village. Like, how many times have we just walked into a place and I'm just like, this fucking song is bumping. I love this music, right? You know, it all just fits really well. Sabrina, the guardian sorceress. She inspired us. She fell in love with the visiting Merc and bore his child. Ah. Finally, Sabrina took her child and left one night. We're all overcome with, with grief. Shit's beautiful. The song playing right now? Yeah, it's it's great, right? It's It's nice. It's calm. It's got this little melodic almost kind of like playful but kind of melancholy vibe to it it fits perfectly for the scenario it's this hidden calm village but it's a bittersweet moment learning about tim and his birth and and the death you know the death of his mother and father etc you know like the music in this game is fucking dope I'm not going to say that it's on the on the level of fucking, you know, like, Final Fantasy V, maybe. Like, Nobuo, that type of scenario, right? But it's close. What's what's WA2? Th this game. It's Wild Arms 2. His best, his best work! It's his best work! Uh, because he's the only one who is able to become a pillar. <laughs> You're not dumb. You just didn't know what it what it was. It's fine. You know how many times I've been in the middle of a conversation and been talking about a thing and then someone throws out an acronym and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And they're like, the thing we've been talking about. And I'm like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> the inborn ability to become a pillar. Pillars embody the power of the garden. It's pl 
plain to see that Tim has inherited this ability from Sabrina. But in this village, there is another who also has this ability. We shall meet her soon. It's a Guardian Showdown. And now we get to play as Tim. Yay, Tim. So, uh, new characters come in at the level of Ashley, I believe. Um, which is why we don't want to be super high level because uh, Ashley, Lilka, and Brad are getting bonus HP for all of their level ups because of their personal skills. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, Tim, Tim very much has the baby face, right? Tim is a hard character to like from a coolness perspective, but from a mechanical perspective, Tim is kind of a badass. Um, Tim gets some really good shit, but he's kind of one of those hard-to-use characters. If you put the time and investment into him, he books. Um, he also unlocks guardians for you, which is really cool. Never forget that you were a child of this village. I mean, yeah, okay. Sure, whatever. But I agree, I don't like his face. He's just got, he's such a baby face. He's just such a baby. I mean, he's only like 12, so yeah. All right. You have your mother's eyes. Which is kind of a waste on a boy. Ouch. All right, calm down. Calm down. All right, we don't need any of that. Hey, Granny. What's up, what's up? Aha! Item get! Ooh, hard gear. I'm actually assuming that that is, uh... Nope. Nope, that's gonna be a Brad thing, I think. I don't know that we need anything right now. He has Oda Yerk. Sneaking around that way. No sneaking around that way. Gonna go in this building. And find nothing. Wedge. Unlike his fellow guardians, Glaive de Gable does not possess the power of cognition. Unaware of anything, Glaive Le Gable fills Gilgaia with life without plan or purpose. The legendary ancient race of elves have erected a shrine to Glaive de Le Gable to celebrate his existence, but the shrine called Wedge that pierces Glaive de Le Gable also controls his creation of life. Interesting. Four tidbits. All right, on to the rock. Hmm. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. I feel like we've talked to everyone. Talk to this lady. Talk to this guy. We talk to this guy. Can we leave? Uh, no. We got this item. Got this over here.
I am missing something. Ah, ah, the... What it happened to be the sparkly thing on the table? That's my bad. Definitely my bad. Who the fuck are you? And why are you in my house? Oh god, they're both super awkward. My name is Tim. It's Colette. Oh shit. Ah, my boy. Colette is just backup Tim. Or I guess Tim is just backup Colette. Honestly. What is the power of the mediums? They become a medium through the guardian's power, through which the guardian's power materializes. Possessing the nature and ability of the pillar is necessary to bring this about. Tim is not yet a pillar. In order to fully realize his potential as pillar, he must undergo the trial. Tim's too timid. Is the trial dangerous? There are many monsters at the trial arena. Also, if it happens that Tim isn't fit to be the pillar, then he won't won't be able to contain the power. If that happens, he fucking dies. Tim has an existential existential crisis here. Receives more training first, maybe you'll have a better chance. Or is there a reason why Tim must become a pillar immediately? The village dream seer saw a dream. The dream seer is an oracle. He sees the will of the guardians in the form of dreams. The vision he had was one of the sky being gnawed away. Don't yet know what this if this is a good or an ill omen. You think the sky being gnawed away is a good omen? It might be too late when we find out though, so it would behoove us to awaken the pillar now. The danger might be so great that our only salvation would be the power of the guardians. Hmm. Too much we don't know about events that are too important. In order to realize their potential as pillar, they must desire it. They must open their hearts to the Guardians. They cannot force it on anybody. It all depends on the will of Tim himself. Or Colette. Eh, well, there's his will. <laughs> <clears throat> there's no other choice then. Colette must become a pillar as originally planned. Yeah. Are you forced? So you don't want to force it on Tim, but you're going to force it on Colette? Uh, rude. Colette doesn't make as good a pillar as Tim. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked up. Ah, Tim will do it because he doesn't want Colette to die. Nice. Not a spur of the moment decision, are you sure? Good fucking guy Irving over here like, uh, you ain't got to do this. Surest way is for me to take the trial, right? Also, I don't want to put, to put Colette in any danger. It's something I have to do to get the power of the Guardians, and I have to do it now. Well, protecting me enough. Now I can do something myself. I have no idea how happy that makes me to finally find my place in things. It's my hometown, right? I can stay here if I become Pillar, right? Not quite. That's what you have chosen, then nobody can go against it. Except, you know, Odessa will come and fuck things up, so actually you're going to have to stay with us. At the depths of the Trial Arena is a shrine to the Guardians. Normally, only those who are heirs are allowed inside the walls. But anyone can go as far as the point of entry without fear. I ask you this favor. Please protect the heir to the pillar. Be permitted? In that case, I will make it an official order. Nice. Hell yeah. Next mission.
All right. Let's do it. We've got Tim. I think hard gear. Yep, nice. It's poncho time. Gotta talk to Colette. Colette's gonna tell us where to go, and then we're gonna ignore that and go somewhere else. The entrance to the trial arena is hidden in the middle of the forest south of the village. There's no identifying mark, so be careful not to miss it. Let's go. I was on top of it, my bad. <laughs> All right, so that's where the, uh, the arena is. We're not gonna go there. We are going to actually... Go over here to... Get off. Uh, we are going back to Maria Bull. Uh, because Tim has no fucking personal skills. So we want to go ahead and take care of that as soon as possible. Uh, so we're going to fully upgrade his um, HP up. And probably get... Two levels of physical defense up. Go ahead and get a physical defense up on Lilka as well. And yeah. Good. Sweet. Awesome. Pilot over to Baskar Village, and we are good to go. So, Tim is a very interesting character. Um, he does not learn skills. 
Uh, I, mean, I say learn skills. He doesn't learn skills the way everyone else does, but really, I guess there's not a single character in this game that learns skills in a normal way, right? So Ashley, right, uh, gains access to arms by finding them and using them. Brad, basically the same way. Lilka, you get crests that you have to, uh, you know, turn into magical spells. Tim learns skills based off of the guardian he has equipped with. Or he has equipped. He has equipped. Um, he has to attack or and or get kills in order to learn skills. Kills with his physical attacks uh, learn skills faster. Um, just basic attacks take longer. So, for example, with Fingalon, uh, he can learn Sonic Claw and Tempest. And once he learns them, he, he has them unlocked, period, done, um, forever. Um... But, so for example, to get Sonic Claw, it takes either 12 attacks or 3 kills to get Sonic Claw. To get Tempest, it takes 50 attacks or 15 kills with your physical attack in order to get them. And every, every medium has at least one skill that he can learn off of them. Um, and he can actually learn some really, really important things, like he can learn uh, Thanatos X, which protects from instant death, um, etc. So lots of interesting things. He learns a bunch of elemental attacks, like the Fingalon stuff is wind, Shutark is water, Grudiev is earth, Orgalt is fire, um, etc., etc. Um, one of, if not the most important thing to learn, is probably Odoryuk, um, because it gets first aid. And it's an that's a uh, an AOE heal. So. Um, that being said, we are. I don't think there's anything here that we really care about, Steve. So actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and put him back on Oduyuk. We'll try to get that learned. Takes 24 hits to learn Odoryuk's first aid spell. Which is a lot of hits when you think about um, battles don't normally last longer than two or three hits. And he has to hit. He can't miss. He has to actually hit and deal damage. So. The eyes protecting the candidate can go that far, but on the other side of the wall, just me alone, right? Absolutely. Everyone has times when they're all alone. Just because it's someone you really like doesn't mean you can't be together all the time. You should be more upbeat. Hey, hey, that's sexist. Calm down. I don't know what this test is, but think of it as something positive that gets you ahead. Beautiful field of flowers no one knows about. What am I talking about? I'd like to go there. When we get back, I'd like you to show me the flowers. Aw, oh, Tim's so fucking suave. Good job, Tim. Good job, Tim. All right. It's time! Hey! It's the best! Hey, Puka. How's it going? I've been waiting, so you're the heir. You know, you can get your soul to communicate with sleeping old ruler guardians. Who are you? Oh, that's right. You all find it inconvenient when there's no clear name for an existent being. It's Puka. It's Puka's Puka. Puka ain't no handpan? I don't know, I like Puka. 
Puka definitely ain't no handpan, but I think Puka is a good callback to handpan. I don't understand. Puka is special. The sense of self is weak. I can't explain it well. In other words, Puka is Puka, and at the same time, there's something else. You understand? No. Oh. Puka is actually, um, if I'm remembering correctly, when when we manifest guardians, Puka takes the form of that guardian. Drawing on the guardian's power, basically. Guardians are basically like summons in this. I've heard of the subspirit Puka. Because the sense of self is weak, by taking on other information matrices, one can copy other forms. That's it. That's exactly what I was trying to say. That one is none other than Puka. Why was the subspirit waiting for me? Puka's role is to guide you under the Guardian's direction. Come with us, Tim. The Guardians want you before it's too late. Dun dun dun! For places you can't get to, Puka can search it for you. And he he effectively acts exactly like Hanpan does in the in dungeons. By defeating monsters, I'm able to extract power from the medium I'm equipped with. Want to pass the trial? Hell yeah! Can we learn other things? Yeah, we learned the the anti undead one with um, Oryuk. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Oh, I'm wrong. Han Puka doesn't doesn't act like Handpan. Puka is better than Handpan. Because Puka has an actual field you can just control him in. I forgot about that. Handpan you just kind of like toss in a direction. Puka is better. Haha, <laughs> don't you lie to me. It's true. Puka's Puka is better. Just from, you know. From a, a mechanical standpoint. Alright, so we've got all those things. We've got a... Ooh, I shouldn't be... Should I be avoiding battles? I don't really know. Probably not. Okay, we can go left there. We can go right here. I'm not sure it matters. Oh... I'm sure it matters. What am I talking about? Oh, it's uh, is a quick thing. A heart leaf. What the what? what the what? Nullifies the downhearted state. Wild Arms always has odd status effects. Absolutely. Downhearted, amnesia, helpless, 100%. Yes. Very, very strange um, status effects in Wild Arms. You are correct, sir. I keep doing that, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, what are we looking at? We've got something like that. Yeah, okay. So we want to do... Oh. Whoops. Oh. 
Nice. Hey, how's it going, Ereviv? It's going pretty good. We're making a lot of progress tonight. Um, we're in the Dungeon of the Guardians with Tim. Just getting some Tim action going on. Very, very cool. I like Tim. Um, other than that, not much going on. Just hanging out. Some mini carrots. Mini carrots are fucking dope. Uh, is this it? I feel like I've been pierced. It feels as if all the wills here on the grounds are gathering. Been trying to make story progression for Tales of the Abyss before it gets too late and I need to stop gaming for the night. Oh, uh, but your or when your head hurts. Ah, how far into the game are you? <gasps> Their wills turn into vibrations, searching for powerful shapes. This is one of the trials, too. Bad senses can't feel the hostility in these vibrations. Watch out, they're testing us. Oh, is this a boss fight? Oh yeah, it's a boss fight. Whoops! Already in the third part, after beating Van for the first time. Nice! Regulus! Hey! I remember this fight, kinda. Play monster. So Tim is kinda useless here. He has nothing going on for him. Um, but we basically just want to... Just smack repeatedly. Your bro, and you had the difficulty on hard, but it wasn't too bad since you played somewhat defensively. Nice. Yeah, it always I always forget how, you know, the, the game is a little bit easier playing with someone because, you know, a person is generally smarter than the AI. I think this guy poisons, um, but I think we just got lucky that we didn't get poisoned. So, actually, what we're going to do here is we're going to do an FP shift. But you meant very hard, but definitely easier. Just been healing and your bro been distraction. Exactly. So, a cool thing about um, Tim is Tim can sacrifice his FP to basically give other people FP. Um, which is very fucking useful in a lot of different things, but specifically for early on, it's useful for getting Ashley up to access. Just lock on. I don't think we're gonna need access, but whatever. Again, none of these fights are super hard in the beginning of the game, as long as you're somewhat prepared. You know? As long as you have HP up from the beginning, etc, etc, you're gonna be just fine. Probably don't need to access, but I'll do it anyways. Bazooka! We'll probably bench Lilka for a while and just use Tim. Um, just, just not because I like Tim better or because Tim is better, but because Tim has an active mechanic to try to learn his spells. Um, so I can actually be working towards something with Tim. Whereas Lilka's just, hey, get the crests. Yay, we're done. You know, type situation. So. Um, that actually allows us to do hot fencer. Sweet. Lock on Bazooka. If we take another hit with Tim, we're probably going to have to um, bury up. But no, that's it. Job done. Very, very easy. Ba -da -ba -ba.
Is that the trial? That monster was a guardian? No, that monster was not a guardian. The old rulers of Thilgaia, the first guardians, had absolutely no power in the physical world. What was that just now? We were attacked by it. Probably just testing. Not only the pillar, but also the strength of the knights protecting the pillar. Driven it away. The trial? No, it doesn't look like it's over yet. There's a voice calling to me. In order for me to become the pillar, I guess I have to go even further. Yeah, I can't remember if we actually have to fight further, so I'm just going to go ahead and bury Tim. Ooh, uh, hold up. We didn't do a spin, just to check and make sure that there's no, uh, chests hidden in the corners. Alright, we'll do a save. He who is not fit to the to be the pillar shall not pass. The heir to the pillar will take the test alone. All right, this is the time. The wall must be here. What waits on the other side is instant death. The ability to materialize the power of the guardians, which are now only consciousness. For your trial, you must get hold of the combined. With Puka. Did I say it at the start? I said, go together. Tim and Puka must be together at all times. Take my shit. Let's combine! We're gonna combine! It's basically summon. Yep. So... Fuck. I didn't slow down in time. My bad. it up. Okay, I should be able to still do this. Yep. So. I didn't realize I was going to have to keep running. Ah! Ah! Too much. Too far. I went too far. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> Fucking momentum, man. There we go. There's a chest up there. No interest in fighting with Tim alone. We will skip every battle that we can. We we'll have to go back that way, it seems. Alright, we're gonna go this way first. To go get that chest. Ah, crest. We got three crests in here. That's freaking dope. That's a lot of magic for Loka. Actually, that's, that's not all of her magic, but I think she's only gonna have like two or three left by the end of this. Not quite enough. And then run at an angle, because uh, I'm assuming it's going to move. Yeah. 
Nice. Nice. Try to make sure there's nothing we're missing. Hey! This light, the medium Oderyuk, is shining again. You are the air. You're the one whose turn turned our will into power. You, designated as air, state your name. Not very robotic. Tim Rhymeless. What the fuck is that last name? Blood becomes my will, your flesh becomes my power. You, burdened with the fate of death, go forth and overcome it. The unending trial has awakened us. The unending trial! Oh, oh. oh shit, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> oh fuck! It's time to did it did the -du duel! at once all the force you've saved up until level 2. The information matrix of, of the medium will let Puka change into a powerful shape. User's force and Puka's ability to transform released together form a combine. First, take the guardians who have offensive power like Grudia and equip them in the guard slot. Puka and Tim can combine in motion. Put in motion a combine. Just leap over any trial that's in the path. Okay, so basically we need to get up to um, 50 force and combine to really fight. Um, so we're gonna attack. And yeah. We have Odor Yukon, but we can just equip uh, a different guardian. Um, before we do the unleash. Fucking lullaby. Damn it! Alright, sweet. Pill! Don't be pilling people. Alright, so we're going to equip. Um, actually gonna do. Oh, there isn't a sleep. Okay, we'll do probably Grudiev. Combine! And summons! Here we go! Magnetron Bomb! Fucking badass! Nice. Fucking <laughs> 4,000. Now, okay, of course, this, this fight is meant to be like easily done there but at the same time the summons do actually do a pretty large amount of damage if you get them with elemental weakness like if you hit if you get a boss who is weak to earth with you know something like that I like to think him breaking through the floor is accidental <laughs> yeah maybe maybe he just comes falling in and he's like oh, i'm gonna get you and then the floor just like begins to disintegrate he's like oh shit no <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Thou hast evaded our illusions. Power of the air. Damn, you cheated death. The proof is here. Thou art the air. By releasing us, the pillar becomes an offering proffered soundly. We await thy next pillar. An eclipse will fill Philgaia's sky. Thou wilt stand at the sacrificial altar to deter this menace. Force combined required. Hell yeah. Better believe it. Make no mistake, your power of belief guided reality. You realized truth. Even Puka is excited. Ah! 
Hell yeah. Yeah, we fucked. We kicked ass. Ow. I kicked the fucking desk. Oof. Owie. Owie wowie. Tim stream. Aw, no. I love Tim stream. We gotta, we gotta get some Tim abilities. T Tim abilities? Tim abilities. Now, everyone can combine. So everyone's second level ability is combined. Um, so any, any character, now that Tim has unlocked it and become the pillar, any character can use summons. Fuck yeah. Abilitim. Abilitim. That is significantly better. That's the one. Abilitim. We have to get some Abilitims. And Tim's got a date. Aw, to the flower meadow. the first person she's brought to this to this beautiful place. Aww. Flowers would stay. They don't. Shit gets bad. We have to sacrifice Tim. I love how, like, every all the characters have, like, a, a starting arc, and then eventually, like, a finishing arc, um, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Yay, Tim, you did it, woo! What do we get? Ten hillberries. Three big berries. One mega berry! Nice. Fuck yeah, let's do it. I like how Tim just glosses over the whole sacrificial altar thing. And now we get that tense music. Means we have a new pillar. Just as we foresaw, it had to be someone of Sabrina's blood. At last, we have the pillar, safe keeping the power of the Guardians. Because today we have gained the pillar, the world will be safe no matter what the vision meant. In case we have to sacrifice them. Killer, sacrifice, what are they talking about? It all started the day Sabrina ran away from the village so her son wouldn't become Pillar. Ten young, long years since then we have scoured Philgaia for that boy. Now it is over. The life of Tim is in hand, and with it Philgaia will be protected. A life whose purpose is to die. What the what? Didn't you know? Today, your life was offered to the Guardians as Pillar. That's strange. Didn't you know all this before going into the Trial Arena? The trial to become Pillar. It is to give your life to the Guardians. What? Apprehend him! <laughs> These fucking old, shitty-ass old men, right? Yes, you must die. <laughs> like, fuck you. Let's torch this place and leave. Let's go. Mm. 
No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're over here. Please die. Please die. Fuck you. Oh, kill. Woo! Drop a fucking Grudiev on him. I to totally just fucking drop a Grudiev on him. Like, fuck you. Kill, kill them all. Sacrifice a child. So we're back in Valeria now. Calm down, Ashley. How do you expect me to? Do you care about life at all? Them's one life. The lives of everyone in Filgaia will be saved. Nothing else to do. Bullshit. The ends are worth such a sacrifice. But that's... That's just like Odessa. Our only choice is to make Colette a new pillar. A new guardian. They keep turning to that like, fine, if you're not gonna do it, then we'll have Colette do that. Fuck you. How about we just string all of you up? Uh-oh. The Chateau's hull is made of a specially refined alloy called De La Metallica. De La Metallica? Really? Someone has broken through a bulkhead and is coming this way. It's gotta be Odessa. Let's go. Um, equip guardians. Uh, we'll do more galts. Angelon and. Actually, might as well do Odier. Alright, let's see if there's anything special that I have to worry about here. Captured the invaders, a man and a woman. They are the enemies. You haven't captured them. I'll search for the pillar boy. You handle everyone else. Antonora waving over there. No, it's fine. It's fine. You should probably hide, though. Fucking dumb kids. Alright. Let's go. It's Antonora time. Antonora is pretty cool. She uses strings. Very animo. Welcome back. Some schedule issues you had to resolve? No, no problem. Never thought your home base would be attacked. Found this place easily by tracing Alfel's lingering Kirillian, Kirillian energy reading. Auntie Nora. Nice. Which means that all that all that nonsense with Ptolemaea wasn't useless after all. Alright, Antonora, let's go. 
Um, we're gonna smack. We're gonna... Let's do a quick re... Pendulon, Oderyuk. So we will attack, attack, and pickpocket, because I think we can get mini carrots off of her. Pickpocket failed, of course. That's fine. Ephemeron. Oof. My goodness. Holy shit. All right, then. Well, we're going to use Ashley to do a Heelberry on Lilka. I don't know. I don't think we have a sleep remover. You know what? You know what we have as a sleep remover? Fucking uh, rise and shine, which we don't have yet. Uh, unfortunate. We'll just do. You know what? I'm not super worried about. We'll we'll attack. If she attacks uh, Lilka again, then we'll just um, accelerate or bury her. Ooh, counterattack. Bazooka! Ruh -ruh. Okay, she stayed asleep. That is unfortunate. We will accelerate her into a fairy to heal, and we will attack with Brad. Antidote her as well. Lock on Bazooka. Kind of low on ammo. Not really that big of a deal, truth be told. It just extends the fights. Ephemeron is. Beast moding me though. All right, that's not good. That's no way now. We definitely want to go ahead and heal up Ashley because of that. Hey, there we go. All right, what is forgetful? It's downhearted. Gotcha. Um. The mystic, a healberry. Downhearted is reduction in AP or AP FP uh, generation. So that sucks. All right, Bazooka, Lilka. I think I'm gonna Mystic Hillberry again, just to make sure that we have plenty of HP.
Oof. She's got a lot of HP. Attack. Um, actually, actually thinking of being cheeky and trying to to pickpocket her, but I think no, we we don't need the mini carrots. We'll play safe and generate some FP. Fucking ephemeron, man. Attack. Um, heal on Ashley. I think this is the first boss fight that's actually kind of kicked our ass. Oof. Alright, well, I was thinking of swapping, um, but considering that situation, I think I actually will... What, can we not? But do we have to have Brat? Do we have to have, um... Oh, we have to have Tim out with us. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem. All right, we'll just lock on AM Cluster then. Um, Mystic, Hillberry, Easy Peasy. Brad's doing basically all of the work this fight. buy any more time. Holy shit. She bought plenty of time. Beat our ass. Judeka should have the pillar boy by now. My job is done. And teleport. What are you doing over there, Odie boy? Are you, are you scared from the fireworks? He's scared from the fireworks. Hey, it's Tony! Run, you can do that right, Tim? Good job, Tony! What are you doing here? I wanted to fight with the dude and the others, too. We snuck on board, but that wasn't so smart, was it? My humble opinion, I think we'll just hold you back. That's probably true. But you can do something right with those powers of yours. Go fight with the dude and the others. Do it for us, for young arms. I love that statement. We're friends, so I'll give you my hand, but you'll have to get up on your own. But you want to. If you do what you really want to, you'll find a way to succeed. Go kick some ass, Tim! I hate that he calls Ashley the dude. <laughs> Tim was always like this weren't, he would never have had a place in Young Arms to begin with. Why are you and Scott in there, then? Alright, Judeka. And this is actually where we're gonna go ahead and close out. So, it, Ashley is Ashley is the dude, but I hate that he gets called the dude. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around, we're gonna keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.